Hey everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again today, and I'm going to walk you through some my, some customizations for my favorite file manager, Space FM, or as I like to call them, stupid Space FM tricks. One of the big gripes that a lot of new Antics users have out of the box, Antics 13.2, out of the box, is that my, your USB sticks don't mount automatically when you put the stick in the in the device, in your computer. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to put my stick in the computer. I do have a USB stick in the computer. And when I go into the file manager and go to media, it's not going to be there. That stick should show up as SDB1, and it is not there. All these are internal partitions. So what's a guy to do? Well, you can use the mount box utility, or you can open up Space FM and mount it by hand from there. Or you can not use the Rocks desktop, and you can use the Space FM desktop. So I'm going to go into desktop, the desktop settings and turn off the Rocks pin board. That's the icon set that we have on the board right now. That's gone. And now I'm going to go back to desktop, and I'm going to turn the Space FM desktop on. Now there's a slight difference in the icons. Uh, the difference in in the uh, desktops is that the Rocks desktop is just a board full of shortcut links. You can think of it that way. Uh, there, actually, it's not a folder. It doesn't represent a folder in your computer. The Space FM desktop does. It, rec it represents the home folder of the Space uh, in, in your, it, it re represents the desktop folder of inside your home directory. Here it is, desktop. Okay. Now one of the f neat features if you have X and this is just a regular folder. You can drag things around. You can put things where you want it. No problem. One of the neat things about Space FM Desktop when it's running is that there is a instance of Space FM running in the background watching for things like USB keys to get mounted. So if I put a USB key in now, it should open automatically. And there it is. My USB key is named Fred. It happens to be an Antics Live USB key that I've been experimenting with. And here it is, automatically loaded. So that is one way to do it, to use the Space FM desktop. Okay, let's say you don't want to use the Space FM desktop. Maybe you don't even want to use Space FM as your default file manager. What's a guy to do? Well, let me show you. There's another option. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to turn the Space FM desktop back off, and I'm going to turn the rocks pin board back on. This just gets me back to a default. You don't have to do anything special. Space FM will also run as a daemon in the background without the desktop. And this is a very handy thing to have for things like opening up USB keys, mounting automatically mounting USB keys, automatically mounting CD drives, that sort of thing. So here we have the rocks pin board, no problem. What we're going to do, we're going to go into our control panel. Actually, we're not, we, yeah, we're going, and I'm using ISWM for the window manager, so we're going to go to the startup tab, and we're going to look for this key right here. Run spacefm slash D to auto mount plugin devices, and pop up the spacefm file, or don't enable if you're using spacefm desktop. It's redundant if you're using spacefm desktop, it's already running. So we're going to uncomment that, click save. Now, for your purposes, you could simply log back out and log back in. I can't do that while I'm running a video. So I'm going to run that command by hand here from the run bar. And now I assure you that there is, in the background, a daemon running, watch, waiting for me to plug in a USB key. I have the USB key in my hand. I'm going to plug it into the outlet right now, and we should get a SpaceFM filer window. And we do. Now we have the space if and filer window, but we're still around the Rocks desktop. This is pretty cool, right? Well, what if you don't want to use space FM? <clears throat> what if you like Rocks, and that's why you're using the Rocks pin board and the Rocks filer? I don't blame you. I like Rocks too. So what we can do is we can actually set the daemon to open our folders in Rocks. So this is pretty, pretty, pretty cool, actually. So I'm going to unmount, or actually I'm going to eject Fred here. Goodbye, Fred. And we are going to um, set set our machine to open rocks instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to uh, auto mount and we're going to click 
open tab. Now if you uncheck open tab, it will not open Space FM even if the device is mounted. Okay, so it's not going to open Space FM anymore when you put the USB stick in. The next option we're going to, to turn off is we're going to go to now if we want if we want a window to open if we want rocks to open we go to auto mount no I'm sorry excuse me we go to uh, auto run on mount and we are going to type rocks and you see this little device here percent m device mount point we are going to say open use rocks to open the device mount point so that's all we have to do is type rocks percent m okay close it we're done I think so all I should have to do now is put in the USB stick and it should open in rocks. Hey, okay, look there. And there it is. It opened in rocks just fine. Hunky dory. Good deal. Okay. Pretty nice. Another feature of Space FM that can be irritating for a lot of people is the way it comes configured out of the box. Here it is. It's it's it shows removable drives by default, but it doesn't show internal drives. This can be really as really irritating to me because I like to see my partitions. Now it does open the home folder by default, but I mean, maybe you got other partitions. Maybe you got a data partition like I do, and that you want to see it. So how you do that? Well, you go to the magic of Space FM is almost everything is on a right click. So you want to right click and go down to settings and up to show internal drives and look there now all my drives are showing including my data partition very nice very good so that is how you get your internal devices shown in space fm okay so one of the other things that kind of drive new users to antics crazy is that there's no file there's no network browsing built in by default. Now I assure you, we, with Connect Shares, you check out my Connect Shares videos. It is a very nice utility for getting connected to network shares. It works terrific once you get it set up. There's no problem, and it's really easy to set up. Check out my videos uh, early in, my, especially my earlier ones. But Space FM can access those file systems directly. Uh, can't browse for them. For that, you need uh, a plugin like MountShare, Kevin's MountShare plugin. Check out a video. I got it on there. You knew I was going to say that. There's a <clears throat> Kevin's MountShare plugin video. It's really handy for browsing shares. But I'm going to go up and show you something that a lot of people don't know. The same guy that wrote Space FM, he's a guy named Ignorant Guru. You can find him on SourceForge and various other places on the internet. He also wrote a utility called UDevil. Now, a lot of Space FM doesn't require UDevil, um, but Antix does have it by default installed already. So, what we can do, we can go over here in our right click window over in this area and go down to root and then edit udevil.conf. Oh, I forgot to set an editor in preferences. Uh, view preferences. This doesn't take very long. I'm just going to set it to leafpad. It's going to ask for my root password, prove I'm me. Okay, so now I'm going to right click over here, root, edit udevil.com. This is the configuration file for the udevil tool that SpaceFM can use to do all sorts of clever things. One And the first I'm going to show you how to do is how to hook up to a SIFS or Samba or Windows share. Now the password here is your root password. And you're going to get the little file window here with udevil.com. With, uh, udevil and it's very easy to enable Samba support out of the box. All you have to do is come down here to Allowed Types. And the text, this file is very well annotated. I suggest you give it a read if you want to mess around with udevil.com. But Allowed Types, Known File Systems, comma file, put another comma, and type SIFS. Now here's, it gives you the examples right up here. Okay, so I'm doing comma file, comma SIFS, and we'll save it. Close that. And now in the toolbar, I can say SMB, short for Samba, colon two backslashes, just like you're typing a web address. And I happen to know my IP address to my to my share is 192.168.1. Oh, this is embarrassing. I forgot the uh, I forgot the address. I think it's 138. Sir.
Oh, look there. It, it, it doesn't, because that share is open. It doesn't, um, it couldn't find it. No problem. What do you do? I'm going to open up a terminal real quick. I'm going to type find shares, which is actually part of the connect shares package. You heard it here. And I'm going to find my my server. It's actually 121, ENG 121. So I'm going to ch edit this to 121. And there I am. I'm mounted to my server with all sorts of documents and such at my disposal. <clears throat> now, one thing about Space FM, now that it's mounted, it's going to, um, if I close the window by default, it will unmount the system. So I'll show you how we'll close it and we'll come back. Oh, actually, it didn't. It's still there. Oh, that's interesting. Um, <clears throat> so, at any rate, Oh, that's because we have the daemon running. If the daemon wasn't running, remember we started the daemon earlier, if the daemon wasn't running, anything you close when you exit the file manager would, would also unmount. So I'm going to go up here to devices and settings and auto mount. I'm going to uncheck U mount on exit. That way if we're not using the daemon and we mount something with space FM, it will stay mounted. Okay, so there, there you go. That's how you add a Oh, so unmounting it caused me a problem. Why is that? Well, because we used UDevil to mount the share, we actually need to use UDevil to unmount the share. And there's some other, there's some cool things you can do in the configuration for that. So let me uh, let me walk you up here to uh, back up here to our magic U. Uh, actually, it's not UDevil.com. If we want to go to settings, device settings, and then we want to look at the mount command. You can see the default mount command uses p-mount. This is a very common mounting package available in almost every distro. That's cool. You can see that the unmount command or the u-mount command is set to p-u-mount, also very common. But remember, we mounted that share with u-devil because that's what that's what knew how to do it. Space will actually try to use u-devil. So what we can do if we blank this, it will auto detect what to use to unmount a disk. And now we can unmount we can unmount. And there it is. It's gone. Now I mentioned my data partition down here and I think I if I you recall I mentioned it it's, it's actually I, I don't know if Fair told you but it's actually a shared data partition. It's an NTFS drive. I share it with a Windows system on the same computer. If I click it it's going to give me an error that the device is not removable. That's because the Space FM is set up for mounting removable devices by default, but it's not set up for mounting internal devices unless those are already set up in the FS tab. Um, you can do that, and actually there's a handy link in root here for editing your FS tab. I, I, we could do that. Uh, in fact, on my main production system, I have that enabled that way right now. But maybe you don't want access to that all the time. Maybe you don't want that mounted all the time or you don't want to put an FS tab for some reason. Well, there's another cool UDevil trick you can pull. We're going to go back to UDevil, editing udevil.conf. Again, this is the root password. And I'm going to scroll down here past the file systems. This will actually restrict users. You can do all sorts of things with this udevil comp file. Um, allow media directories. Allowed internal devices. Okay. So that should be, it was, I've already uncommented it. That's uncommented right now, but this is, this is going to, um, oh, actually, no, I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong place. I want to allow internal devices. This is uncommented at the time, right now. This is for mounting your internal drives. So if you say, if you uncomment it, and you say uh, slash dev slash sd star, now this is going to let me mount any internal drive of any letter. So a, SDA, SDB, FDC, any partition on any drive. Or I can limit it to a certain partition. And I can limit it to more than one partition if I want. I'm going to set it to a blanket uh, SDA uh, star so it'll open any number partition on SDA. And I'm going to click Save. And now I'm going to edit the mount command so that it is also using udevil. Now I'm going to leave it blank for auto detection, but it actually will use udevil first. Okay. So now if I click it, it should let me mount. 
Hey, look there. There's my uh, dolphin's uh, data partition. It's a very powerful option. If you need to change mount options, there are mount options also available in udevil.conf. So we'll scroll down here to udevil.conf. I'll show you the different mount options. They're way down towards the bottom here of the file. Here are the default options. There's default options for NTFS. There's default options for SIF. If you don't know what these things mean, don't change them unless you uh, do a little research. The default should work for you just fine. Uh, and there's all kinds of other configuration points down here. This is a very well documented file. I suggest you take a read at it because it's included in Annex already and it can really make life a little easier sometimes. This uh, allowing internal devices trick is especially nice on a US on a live USB where maybe you don't want to edit an FS tab because the live FSB the live USB rebuilds the thing every time anyway. So if you need to access remote uh, internal drives on a system that you're booting live USB, you might want to go ahead and change to using UDevil and setting that internal partition flag so that you can access the internal drives without any hassle. Amazingly useful on a live USB. All right, that's it. Day, uh, Dolphin Oracle's uh, favorite stupid space FM tricks. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to annex.mepis.org or throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.